Are any sweat bees bothering you? Uh, not yet. <laughs> Boy, up here in Indiana, uh, where we are right now, we've had uh, a swarm of sweat bees that showed up. Uh, a swarm of sweat bees. I said that without stuttering. I saw that. Do you believe that? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they showed up, oh, I guess what, about a week ago? And we, it started getting yeah, worse and worse. Um, They're not quite as bad today as they have been. But man, they just like to hover all over you. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. down in Arkansas, we usually don't get them till around October-ish or so. But, I just uh, know they're not as thick. Not as thick today. Let's hope it stays that way. Exactly. But anyway, <laughs> I also noticed that I uh, have a... Well, that's lunch. Yeah, that's lunch right there. We went to a fantastic... This is our third trip there since we've been in Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And actually, the restaurant itself is over in uh, Illinois because we can almost throw a rock into Illinois from where we are. Yes. And it's a real neat little Italian restaurant. Uh, in Paris, Illinois. And man, is it yeah, good. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, we all had dinner. There's a few of us still here. Uh, Marvin and Mary still here. They'll be pulling out in a, a couple of days. We'll be pulling out in a little over a week ourselves. So we're going to certainly miss uh, Brad and Karen. Oh, yes. And they've been so helpful. And Brad has been a real champ. Brad is a genius. Yes, <laughs> he is an absolute, absolute genius. Brad is an engineer. He's a fabri fabricator and a welder. And this is why we started out the video today right here. Because this is what Brad has built for us. Yep. Right here. Uh, and then we've now got the spare tire mount on the back as, long, and as well as the bike rack. And the neat thing about it is our license plate is still visible. That's one thing right. that we were concerned about on how to get everything situated. Now, I'm not going to go into great detail as to how the, everything is until we go through our regular walkthrough video, which will be, you know, hopefully week or, week not too long from now. Yeah, no, roughly. Still got a few little things we want to tidy up before we do our actual complete walkthrough video which will be a very detailed video of the entire trailer and we'll show you all the inner workings and everything and how we have made this to fit our particular needs as our home on wheels right right you know we we wanted to have most all the comforts that we had in a regular house but in a much smaller package that we could tow with our van so uh, we'll be going through all of that here in about a couple of weeks or so give or take a few days but we will say this about uh, the bike rack and the spare tire mount and everything. And it, it is built to with to hold up under extreme yes. uh, circumstances. Brad because, did an awesome job. Because you know, quite honestly, this is the roughest part, roughest riding part of the trailer right here. So he knew that everything had to be strong. And when we do show you the details on how he did it underneath, you'll understand what I'm saying. But I know what a lot of you are wondering right now, how much is all this going to weigh? What did it do to the end of the trailer on this side? Right. But you have to remember, yeah. we were carrying all this in the trailer anyway. Yeah, right. <laughs> we were carrying the spare tire in the trailer. Mm -hmm. We were carrying the bicycles in the trailer. Now, we were not carrying the bike rack in the trailer. We were carrying the bike rack in the van. That's true. Yeah. Well, yeah. So the only thing that's really added weight that we were not carrying before are the actual mounts that are mounted underneath the trailer to hold everything. But all together, as near as we can figure, when the bikes are sitting back here and, uh, you know, everything else as it is, we've added roughly about 240 pounds to the rear end of the trailer. And this is accounting for the weight of the bikes. And, of course, now that is without the batteries on the bike. We will not be traveling with the batteries in the bike. We just don't do that. No, we, haven't we just done it don't so far. feel that's prudent. No. <laughs> No, I mean, they, they get enough jostling as it is, so why have the extra weight of those batteries in there, you know, uh, wearing on the mounts there? So, we do have separate insulated carriers for the batteries. Yes. Semi-fire resistant. Yes. We're not going to say they're fireproof. Mm -hmm. For those of you that are concerned about things like that, it's really funny how you have a few uh, e-bike fires here and a few e-bike fires there, and when you consider that there's well over, you know, millions of e-bikes being used around the world. When you have just a few e-bike fires, all of a sudden, all the e-bikes catch on fire. <laughs> That's human nature, I guess, right? But anyway, uh, like we said, we figure it's running, it's on, gonna be roughly about 240 pounds altogether with the bikes mounted back here, uh, as far as the added weight on the rear end of the trailer. Now, that doesn't affect our tongue weight that much at all. It's not going to equate to taking 240 pounds off of the tongue of the trailer for a, for a multitude of reasons. You know, 
for one thing, the, the, the wheel, so the center, the wheel center line, the axle center line is 60% back on the trailer. So unless if the wheels were, the center line was exactly in the middle of the trailer, you know, you're not going to have that kind of a teeter totter effect. It's just not going to be there. So it's not going to take off as much tongue weight as you think. And we still have plenty of tongue weight. The trailer itself with all this here is going to weigh in now under 7,600 pounds. When we weighed it before in full travel mode, it weighed 7,500 pounds. So we're going to say it's going to weigh in around 7,600 or less. Before we moved this stuff back here, we figured that we had around 1,200 pounds of tongue weight. So we still have well over the 10%. We have closer to 15% tongue weight. So everything is fine and we have a, a weight distribution hitch that is rated up to 1400 pounds so we're well covered there the van is well covered to handle the weight uh, everything is fine and we go everywhere with this so anyway enough of that right <laughs> right yeah for now so you want to go inside yep and let's show them because what you guys have seen so far you've seen us been seeing us do things in here that don't but, look good <laughs> you know the the house was because we were working in here, we had a lot of junk spread around here and there. Uh, Deb took some time yesterday while I was doing other things, and she uh, and I got a few sweat bees following me in. Yeah, they were starting to swarm. Yeah, we were starting to swarm. They said, oh, humans. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, now you can kind of, let me sit back here. Oh, say hi, Delilah. Say hi to everybody. You don't want to speak at all, do you? Yeah. yeah. I've seen cameras before. <laughs> right i'm going to sit back here so y'all can get a little bit better view of what's going on up there this is a new toilet seat that we're going to be installing on the, i will while i'm back here i will take time to tell you that i am going to be building a new cover for the top of this with a new toilet seat so that'll be soon uh, hopefully i can start on that tomorrow or the next day at the latest but this will kind of give you an idea of what it looks like you know from this end of the trailer over here with everything kind of cleaned up, except for the mess I made just a little bit ago when I grabbed yeah, a bottle of water. Look at that. Like that. I know. <laughs> but uh, what we have left to do up here is uh, we're going to be building shelves underneath those corner right. spots. Right. Yeah. Uh, the shelf on the right side of your screen that'll be going there where you see that curtain, that shelf will be built high enough so that the trash can fits just below the countertop. And then we've got a uh, trash chute that we're going to be installing over there. Yeah, that's the trash chute that we'll be installing. It'll go somewhere. Over, yeah, somewhere in there. in there. Not exactly. Don't hold us to that. Mm -hmm. It's uh, how it's going to be the most compact and where it'll fit so it hits the trash can just right when we drop trash into it. So the shelf will be, you know, fairly high up off the off of the floor there, which will give Delilah more room because down there is where uh, her food and water is kept right down there. Right? And then we'll be putting a couple of shelves behind Deb in that other corner back there to uh to make it better take care of more of my stuff. junk right <laughs> and then you said you've probably been noticing this but you never said anything about it um but it's we've been missing that little piece of trim underneath the air conditioner and it's been like that for a while uh, i'm going to be reinstalling that piece of trim so that'll look all nice and finished over there <laughs> so and when but we see, get to we're that almost point, done yeah when we get to that point we're almost done i mean there'll be a few little things that i'll probably do along the way later on after the walkthrough video but uh, uh it's definitely looking more and more like a finished home uh every day and we are so tickled that we've gotten to this point aren't we dear absolutely absolutely yeah. so uh and you want to talk about the floor a little bit uh, uh well uh, the floor yeah let me come over here in the video that you saw last time i was actually doing the work well i repainted it because i didn't like how it was coming out yeah so i've repainted this um kitchen floor i think i've had three layers of paint maybe four on it <laughs> So we got the extra. Uh, right, the extra protection. Yeah, the the extra bathroom floor paint. has at least four coats of paint on it because mm -hmm. every time I did it, it just didn't come out right. Yeah. yeah. Finally redid it yesterday and I'm happy with yeah. it. I'm contented. So now it's got one coat of um, acrylic, mm -hmm. polyacrylic paint on it. 
and um, was going to put another one on today, but the body said, no, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, we'll end up in the end, and we'll have plenty of time to do that now because this probably acrylic dries really, really fast. Yes. We'll end up putting probably a couple more coats on. Yeah, right? probably two more. Yeah. And, uh, but before, in the last photo that you saw in the last video, you know, as we pan back, I would say probably the thing that stuck in my mind more than anything else is the best way to describe it was Deb felt like it looked a little too busy. It looked like zebra stripes. Yeah. Let's be honest. <laughs> so she kind of softened it up a little bit, and I really like the way it came out this time. So, so we're uh, happy. Yeah. So as soon as, uh, as soon as we get a couple more coats of polyacrylic on this, then we'll start pulling the, you Take know, all the blue tape all off, the blue and then I'll have off. to touch up the white. You know how that goes, right? <laughs> and then you have to touch up the gray, and then you have to touch up the yeah. <laughs> And when she redid the bathroom floor, she had the stripes run in the opposite direction. And it was still wrong. Yeah, it didn't matter. And she didn't like it. So then I suggested, well, if you were gonna, if you're going to change all that, you know, she run them in the same direction as it is in the kitchen. And, and she said, sure. And... Mm -hmm. So that's why we did what we did. So anything else you want to mention, dear? Nope. We just appreciate Brad and Karen. We appreciate all the other help and suggestions that we've had. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, um, you know, we're uh, we're on the fast track now. We're almost done. I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we're to a point now yeah. where we are just about ready to stop spending money on stuff for the trailer. Hallelujah. <laughs> So then we can start concentrating on getting that credit card paid paid down. Yeah. You know, uh, we've done all this out of our hip pocket all this time, mm -hmm. and of course it's been very helpful with the YouTube channel. You know, those that watch our videos, uh, uh, you know, we make just a little bit every time somebody watches a video, and a lot of people will reach out to us now and then, and they'll say, you know, how can we help you with this? How can we help you with that? And really, the best way that people can help us out is just watch our videos yeah yeah even if you don't like that particular subject get through that first commercial and watch about 10 seconds of it you know what it'll count as a view <laughs> that's <Yeah>. true <laughs> and we have uh we are really fast approaching 30,000 subscribers yes and we're, that's amazing yeah we're like it i uh, looked a while ago and it was like 29,368 or something like that and if each one of our subscribers to, was to watch just 10 seconds. <laughs> 10 seconds of the actual video. You have no idea how helpful that would be. There you, know? you go. Yeah, no idea how helpful that would be. Another thing that would be very helpful, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Please go ahead and subscribe because the content is not going to end here. We have the uh, rendezvous coming up in October, which is not that yes, far around the corner. Got all kinds of announcements to make about that oh, pretty yeah. quick. <laughs> we'll be doing a special video about the about the rendezvous. We're going to be showing you the shirts that you can get and uh, the method that we're going to use for you to order your shirts this time, which will be a little bit different, and it will be on the honor system. I will mention that right now. Um, the next thing is, folks, by far, this is going to be the largest tiny house adventures rendezvous we have ever hosted we are reasonably positive that we have a minimum of 150 people that will be there and it's very possible that it will go way beyond that we're basing that figure on how many folks have reached out to us by email or on facebook or whatever to tell us that they're coming and what site they're at and uh, that's how we base that number. But we also know that that accounts for like 75 sites or so. And this campground has 140. And the last time we looked, there's only 30 sites left. Right. So we don't know how many of those extras are people that's coming to the rendezvous. Right. We have no clue. Because yeah, we, no we don't clue. have the privilege of knowing no. that info. But the rendezvous, uh, there's going to be some special stuff at this rendezvous that we've never had before. Uh, some grand prizes that will knock your socks off. So, you know, if you can see your way clear to come October 16th through the 20th to Pickensville, Alabama, to the Pickensville Campground, get your reservation made. You'll meet yeah. a lot of new folks. Yeah, and I guess that's really all we have to talk about yep. for the moment. We will be doing a dedicated video discussing the rendezvous more in depth here in just a few days. 
Uh, we're going to do another video talking a little bit more about ourselves and what our plans are. Um, and we have lots of plans with lots of different content coming up. So, I guess that's it. Please subscribe. Please watch our videos. Even if you don't like that particular topic of that particular video, just give us just a few seconds. You know, that's all we need. Anyway, it's Bill and Deb with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. And like we always say, we are not camping. We are living. Y'all get out there and do some living, and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.